If you've got one of these digital detector things that you use for finding things in walls, and if 9 out of 10 times it just seems to randomly beep all the time and you just can't get a good reading out of it, I've got some tips for you in this video for using one of these things. And hopefully you can avoid drilling through pipes and cables hidden inside your wall. Hiya folks, welcome back and welcome back. Been ages since I've done a tips video, so welcome back to the Gosforth Handyman Tips Library. And I've been meaning to do this video for ages. I always get people in the comments saying, what detector do I use? And the detector that they've got just seems to beep randomly all the time and they just don't work and they're a complete pointless waste of time. So I'm gonna to cut to the chase. First of all, if you're gonna buy a detector, get a one that has a digital display on it. Not just a one that has a light that flashes or that beeps. You need to get a one that has a digital display on, and I'll explain why in a minute. I use the Bosch PD-06. I've had it for many, many years. You can't buy this anymore, but I'll include a couple of links in the description to detectors that I would consider buying if I was buying a new one, or you might be able to pick one of these up off eBay secondhand, I don't know. It's been an absolute workhorse, it's been chucked around, and it's still going strong. One of the key things with these detectors is that they're never 100%, because effectively all they are capable of doing is detecting metal and electricity. And sometimes what will happen is you'll run it over the wall and it'll just be beeping and the light will be flashing and it's like, well, what, is the entire wall filled with electric cables? It might be. So here's my number one tip with these things. Ignore the flashy lights, ignore the relentless beeping, look at the display. Let me explain what I mean. So first of all, with this one, when you first switch it on, it does an auto calibration and you can see where it's got the little auto cal tick at the bottom. So let it calibrate. And then what I always do is I just check it's working. I normally just hold it against my belt buckle or anything metal and just check that it is actually doing the job. I can hold it against my ring. This particular one is just powered by a little nine volt PP3 battery. So do obviously make sure your battery is working properly in it before you start using it. And with the design of this one, which I particularly like, is that you've got this little hole, so you can put a pencil through the hole to mark on the wall where you're gonna be drilling or whatever without having to move the detector out the road. So just to show you the absolute obvious, first of all, when this is next to something metal, the light comes on permanently and it beeps with a long beep. And when you've got something that's got electricity running through it, the light flashes and you get a series of beeps like that. But as explained, I'm not looking at the flashing and I'm not listening to the beeping. I use those as kind of warning signs, but what I'm predominantly doing is I'm looking at the digital display on here. So for example, on this wall, we've obviously got cables that are gonna be going up the wall here from the light switch. I mean, they could be going down, but they're almost certainly going up the wall. But I know that this is also a stud wall so we're probably gonna have a metal stud going down this edge behind the architrave, and we'll probably have a metal stud going down this edge. And then I know that on the other side of this wall, there's another partition that runs perpendicular, kind of like that, and that will also have metal studs in it. So I'm expecting to find quite a lot of stuff in this wall. Let's see what the detector picks up. See, you can see straight away, I'm about 10 centimeters away from the wall there and it's already picking stuff up in the wall. So we've got the flashing warning sound there, which is warning us about the cables from this light switch. If I move further to the left, we're picking up the stud that's behind this architrave. If I move along this wall, we're picking up another stud going up and down the wall here, which is hidden behind the plasterboard. And then if I go a bit further along, we've got another stud that's hidden behind this piece of architrave here. Let me just change the camera angle so we're looking a bit further up this wall. So what I'm really looking at here, I am using the beeping and the flashing lights as a bit of a kind of warning sign, as I say, 
But what I'm really doing is looking at the digital display because that's showing how close the metal is to the detector. So you can see here I've got four bars on the display. If I move it along to the left, see it's dropped down to three bars, so I'm a bit further away because I'm moving away from the stud that's behind here. But I'm then going to start to get closer to these electric cables. And we're now starting to get the flashing, but the electric cables are buried in the wall. So I can be fairly certain that this isn't a false positive because it's definitely picking up some metal. If I was getting no bars on the display, let me just stop from beeping, and it never changes and you're getting the flashing, then that flashing might just be a false positive and that can happen sometimes for various reasons. I'll just switch the detector back on. But then as we move further in that direction, you can see the display is now going back up because we're getting closer and closer to the metal stud that's running behind the uh, architrave. Likewise, if I move over to the right, you can see the display has dropped down, but it hasn't dropped all the way to zero, so we know there's something around here, but I know the light switch is more kind of over at the left-hand side here, so it'll just be picking up the cables that are running up here. So I would be probably relatively safe to drill into the wall here, but not here. And then as we move along, and you can see we're right at the top end of the scale now, we're getting a flashing. It could be electric cables behind here, but you do sometimes get false positives with the electricity detection. But what I'm really looking at here is a digital display and I can tell how close I am to the metal in the wall. Either way, because I've done this a lot of times, I'm fairly confident that all it's doing is picking up the metal stud that's behind this wall. And I think it's flashing as a false positive. It could well be that it's an electric cable that's running up through the metal stud. That does happen from time to time. But what I would now do is use a blunt masonry bit to drill my hole and I would just be very, very careful that I'm not actually going in because it could be a pipe running up here. I don't know, but it's more likely to be the metal stud of the wall that's on the other side of this. So I'll tentatively go in with a blunt masonry bit and then I should be able to tell what's behind the plasterboard. We'll look at a different wall now. Do bear in mind there's loads of stuff in walls that can give you a false positive. You can even have things like foil backed insulation. And if you run into a situation where your detector seems to think the entire wall is made of metal, then it's a very high chance that you've got foil backed insulation in the wall, in which case the detector, you know, it's detector, it's doing what it's designed to do. It's detecting metal. It doesn't know the difference between foil insulation and a pipe. You can also obviously pick up things like screw heads or nail heads in the plasterboard. So just bear that in mind when you're using these things. You're gonna pick up things that you had no idea were in your wall and some of them are gonna be safe to drill into and some of them aren't. And that kind of comes with experience, I'm afraid. Let's just try it on this section of wall and see what we've got. So let's say that I wanted to drill into this wall somewhere around here. I'll tell you what would be going through my mind. So at the moment we've got a continuous beeping and I've got no idea why, but I've got nothing on the display at all. Not a single bar on the display. And I'm moving it all around that section of wall and we've got nothing. I've got no idea why it's beeping like that. It seems to think there's some sort of electricity related thing in the wall, but I think that's just a false positive. Sometimes that can happen. Sometimes moving the detector away and putting it back can make that stop, but it's not in this instance. But it's doing it for the whole wall. So obviously the whole wall isn't going to be full of electric cables, so it's got to be a false positive. And the fact that nothing's coming up on the display means I'm relatively confident that there's no metal anywhere near this anyway. So if there was an electric cable running up here, I would at least be getting one or two bars on the digital display, but I'm getting literally nothing. Let me just show you on one more wall because this is quite an interesting one. So 
you can't see it off camera, but we've got a light switch just down there. So we've got a light switch. Could well be a cable running up this side. We've got a mirror on the wall over here. Let's just see what the detector picks up on this particular wall. So at the minute we're getting one bar of reading from something, but we don't know what. We haven't got any flashing lights or beeping at all. Let's just move it around. We're starting to get flashing lights over on the left here. I suspect that's the cable running up the wall from the light switch. What you can sometimes do as well is switch the switch on or off. And can you see the little electricity symbol on the display there? So we're not getting any flashing of the light to indicate electricity, but we're getting the little lightning bolt on the display. And if I switch the light on and off, you see the light's off at the minute and that's gone. And the light's on and it's come back. So there's all these little things that you need to watch out for when you're using it. But if we come over on this side, we're picking up some sort of electricity over here. Now, could that be a false positive from the mirror? Because we're getting two bars on the display. So what I would now do is get a bit closer to the mirror and see if the bars go up. Because if it was metal in the frame of the mirror, which can sometimes happen, then you would expect the closer that you're getting the display to the mirror, the bars on there should be going up. But actually, look, as we get closer to the mirror, the bars are going down. So it's definitely not this that's causing a false positive on the display. So you can see one bar here, up to two bars, dropping to one bar and nothing. We've still got the little lightning bolt and then all the way completely safe there by the looks of it. So I would say that there's either pipes or cables, probably cables running up this wall. That would be contravening building regs because there's no light switch or socket anywhere above this or to the left and right of this. But that wouldn't surprise me one bit. It's a new build and I have seen so many instances of building regs in terms of safe zones being just completely ignored. We're definitely picking up something between, uh, between about there and over to about there. So what I would normally do is put a little mark on the wall or use some tape or something, just as a reminder that this whole section down here, I would have to be very, very careful if I'm drilling into that area. Do bear in mind with pipes in new builds that you could have plastic pipes. The builder should run foil tape behind the plastic pipes so that detectors do pick them up. The builders don't always bother putting the foil tape in, so don't rely on that. If there's two takeaways from this video is to make sure you use a detector that has a display on it and that is what you're using to gauge how close you are to something that's made of metal and whenever you're drilling into the wall always use a blunt masonry bit, something that's not gonna damage pipes or cables when you do go in and just go in very tentatively at first until you're 100% confident that you're not drilling into something nasty. There you go, folks. I hope you found that useful and hopefully you can use one of these things as a kind of add-on tool to help you to avoid stuff hidden in walls you can't put 100% faith into these because there's too many things that can give you false positives and false negatives. I've kind of got myself into the good habit of always using it no matter what because I guarantee the one time I don't use a detector will be the time I do accidentally drill through a pipe or cable in the wall and touch wood that's never happened yet. I have made a much more detailed video about finding pipes and cables in walls. Link in the description below to that one. I might do a remake of that video at some point because it's quite old. If you've got any suggestions for good detectors or good tips for finding stuff hidden in walls, pop it down in the comments below. Have a wonderful weekend. I shall see you next time. Bye bye.